Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be slightly more different. I really want to make this intro really quick but I don't think so I can do that because this is actually my first ever doodle video and it is quite a huge thing for me because I don't normally draw. So the backstory is that I actually posted three Instagram pictures on my Instagram and there are like doodles on it and everything and someone asked whether can I make like a video of me doodling and I asked on Instagram whether would anyone like to watch. Surprisingly, a lot of people would actually watch me draw. So I thought, why not? So I might not be the best doodler or drawer. I don't know what do you call those that doodle. Because I don't draw and I hate drawing. Doodle to me is somewhat more light and they are more casual because you can never go wrong with doodle. So I was thinking what should I draw, you know, I have no idea what to draw. So since it's Independence Day, which is today, Happy Independence Day Malaysia, um, I thought why not let me just draw Malaysian food. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so because I would really love to have you on my channel. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So without wasting any more time, let's just jump right in. Okay, so starting off with the obvious which is nasi lemak. Now I'm not sure about you but I have friends that cannot have nasi lemak without fried chicken. Let me know what, what about you because I don't always, I mean I don't have my nasi lemak with fried chicken. Yeah, it's not a thing for me. we had been like you know introduced to so many types of nasi lemak versions the nasi lemak burger nasi lemak cheesecake nasi lemak curry puff nasi lemak waffle you can't deny that the 90 cent or one ringgit nasi lemak is way better it's the best basically it's the best now moving on to another local favorite can you guess what is it <laughs> Okay, I don't think so you can by all these cubes that I'm drawing, but you'll see in a minute. So it's actually our chicken satay. Now I know they usually come in like big bundles, like a whole bundle of them, but for my version, it is like those, you know, appetizers in restaurants that you only get four pieces, four to chop <laughs> in a plate. And that's the onion, the cucumber and also that rice thingy which I don't know what is it called I'm so sorry, I should probably search for that word right now but it's okay So since it's a restaurant appetizer version I've added a banana leaf to make it look more fancy smenchy <laughs> as well are the kuih mues and my favorite has got to be curry puff mm -hmm. everyone's favorite this triangular thing right that i'm drawing is actually called bulut indi which i've never tried before i don't know how does it taste like it looks like those nyonya kuih to me but i've not tried them before the circular thing is onde onde and this is my childhood favorite which is kuih bahulu i feel like everyone just loves it and of course a kuih mui platter won't be complete without kuih talams which i actually don't eat <laughs> i don't eat most of the kuih because i don't really like coconutty taste which is kind of weird because most of the malaysian food contains coconut but kuih mui in particular are a bit more strong in the coconut flavor mm -hmm. and that's my attempt at drawing angku kuih and a few more kuihs When I have my curry puffs right, I prefer them with the egg. Curry puffs with egg is the complete set. <laughs> And 
know so the reason why I don't eat on day on day is because um, I don't like those grated coconuts mm -hmm. and this pink one with coconut thing on it is actually kueh sago oh have you guys tried dipping kueh bahulu in milo before please try it it's good <laughs> and the yellow one is actually pulut sri muga And that is it, my kueh mui platter. Oh my gosh, another local favorite is the kopitiam. And my usual order at kopitiam has got to be either kopi o or kopi o ice. And I'm just dropping the classic good old kopitiam cup and saucer. While waiting for that to dry, I'm just dropping another <laughs> favorite, which is. Can you tell? Wait, let me just draw finish first. It's all our bunkus bunkus drink. You will have your Milo bunkus, your Kopi O bunkus, whatever bunkus, and sometimes that is my favorite way to drink Milo. So it just feels really local and it just feels very Malaysian to me which I love. And also, another favorite of mine is Ipo White Coffee Ice. <laughs> I'll be lying if I say that these are actually better than the ones in Starbucks. Mm -hmm. No offense, but I really do think so and I feel like a lot of you would agree. Way cheaper, way nicer. So there are so many types of noodles in Malaysia and I didn't know which one to go for because I love all equally as much but I decided to go for my top top favourite which is Asam Laksa mm -hmm. and that is actually a hard boiled egg, not an avocado I know it looks like an avocado but it's actually egg and then uh -huh. And that is a line, if you can't tell. I've only tried Asam Laksa in KL and not the ones in Penang. Although I know the best Laksa is actually the, the Penang Laksa, so I should probably go and try the ones in Penang. Mm -hmm. My complete bowl of Asam Laksa. Never forgetting the belacan or sambal, whatever you call it. I can never eat noodles or rice without chili. It's just a very Malaysian thing. Even though you're not supposed to eat it with chili, you know you're in Malaysian when you still ask for that chili. So this is roti tissue, another childhood favorite of mine. It's just so nice, sugary, crispy. Also gotta have a dal. Not sure whether does everyone eat it with curry, but I do dip it in curry for some parts. Yeah, some parts. And of course, I have to draw the classic metal plate at Mamat. From the Chinese cuisine, my favorite is definitely egg tarts and also lao sa pa, which is um, salted egg yolk pao. I'm not sure what is it called in English. I think it's called salted egg yolk pao. But this is my must order every time I go for dim sum brunch. I know that lao sa pa was a bit weird, la, but I've, I tried my best, guys. Also, if you ever want to know whether a dim sum place is good, always order their lao sa pao and see whether is it good. If the lao sa pao is good, means it's good. If the lao sa pao is not good, it's not good. That is the way I see whether dim sum places are good or not. And this is... Okay, let, let me just let you guess what is it. It 
looks like sushi but nope it's actually chicken rice <laughs> I really did try my best I like having roasted chicken instead of steamed chicken so that is why I have to draw my roasted chicken skin and you got to have that sweet sauce, the chili sauce and that classic traditional bowl which I'm trying to draw but it doesn't look like it when the weather is hot this is the food that always comes into my mind, which is ice kacang. I love going to buffets because they always have this ice kacang booth thingy where you can have endless bowls of ice kacang. It's just my favorite. Also, I've lost footages for the first few seconds of this, but this is actually banana leaf fries, and that is not a bean, it's actually papadam which doesn't look like it but banana leaf rice is also one of my favorite Indian food I just really like the whole experience of eating from a banana leaf mm -hmm. I just really love it so these are all the Malaysian food that I doodled, obviously. Definitely let me know which one is your favourite or which one are your favourite. Mine is definitely the kopi ice punkos. It's just so cute. And my favourite is also the satay platter, my restaurant atas platter. And definitely hit the thumbs up button for this video if you love these types of video and would want me to make more of this. And also let me know what to draw because I have no idea. So yeah, this is the end of the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.